Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch me. If you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Sol. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my updated everyday minimal makeup look. Um, and this video is sponsored by Look Fantastic. They are an online retailer that carries a lot of well-known brands like Kudali, Ren Skincare, Juice Beauty, among others. And I'm so excited to show you the look that I'll be creating um, using some of their products that they were kind enough to send me. Um, I will also have a discount code for you guys if you're interested. It will get you 22% off um, off of the website and the code is SOL, S-O-L. I'll link it down below as well as the website in case you're interested. So let's get started. So on my face, um, I have, I cleansed my face with the Juice Beauty Cleansing Milk. Um, this is one of the products they sent me. Um, it is organic and just super good for you and it deeply cleanses and removes makeup and it is so nice it is very hard to explain um the consistency but it is very creamy and it leaves your skin hydrated and moisturized afterwards which is the weirdest thing um but i love this so much and it has not irritated my skin or made me break out which i always look for in ingredients and i am very happy with this one so I cleansed my face with that and then I applied the this Color Science Even Up Multi Correction Serum. So this is supposed to um, fade the dark spots and just even out your skin tone. I do have a lot of um, hyperpigmentation from acne. I do scar red um, and I'm just trying to even that out. So this is a serum and it's very moisturizing. It does have a pump. Um, I'm not big on skincare I only use one item which is like argan oil but I'm trying to be better and just use um something that will help even out my skin tone so I started using this and I so far I like it, it has not irritated me and I recommend it and it is also um, more on the cleaner side when it comes to ingredients and then on top of that I am using this Ren skincare moisturizer it is their ever calm global protection day cream it has a pump and it is for sensitive skin which i'm all about and that's what my skin needs and it says clean to skin and clean to the planet they are a clean skincare brand and i'm all about that like i said i always try to use clean ingredients and stuff that is good for you and that's what it looks like i know they're they have multiple moisturizers that you can choose from depending on what you're looking for but i went with the um sensitive skin one so that's my little prep um, on my skin. Now we're gonna jump into makeup. Um, other than that, I have nothing else on my face. And I went back to using this Ilia um, Super Serum Skin Tint. The only issue that I have with this is the smell, but I know that it doesn't smell um, the best, I guess, in my opinion, because um, they don't use any fragrance or any added fragrances, so this is all like the raw material that they use, like the raw ingredients, which I'm super happy about. You know, they're clean and they're not using any nasty fillers, so gotta think about that when it comes to the scent. It is not overbearing, it's just when you first put it on or like when you smell it, it just smells different. Um, this is in the shade ST6 Aura, and it has a dropper. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this everywhere. And what I do is I been using a brush for this one um look fantastic also sent me these three brushes from echo tools and they're like the little rounded dome ones or not to explain it um they kind of remind me of like the rt's brushes and these are vegan and this one is the ultimate buff which is a larger one the medium sized one is the ultimate pop and then the little one is the ultimate cover so essentially the bigger one is for like your foundation and or your, like your liquid cream products um, for your base the ultimate pop is for like your blush or your bronzer and the little one is for concealer so i'll be using these three um, accordingly and so i already shook this up and what i do i don't like a lot of coverage i've mentioned it before i just do like three to four tiny tiny drops on the brush as you can see did four and I just like buff it in. I was so iffy about brushes because I'm like, well, I don't want it to be streaky and, you know, make me look uneven. But I was like, you know what, let's give it a try. So I decided to pick 
these brushes as one of the items that I wanted to try out. And again, I would never be talking about something that I didn't like or actually use. I always want to keep it transparent with you guys and also when it comes to like brands reaching out to me and wanting to work with me I will not say yes just because um, I always just want to be genuine and stay true to myself because I believe you know that's what it should be about and so just want to let you guys know that because I appreciate people that do YouTube that are sincere and honest about everything especially with the products they're talking about or using because I just don't want to lie to you guys you know so I just do that very fast and easy and this is very glowy and it does provide good enough coverage you can also build it up again I only did four drops so um, I got more of a sheer look which what I'm all about also if you hear weird noises in the background I do have the window open I can hear the sprinkler and now I hear some dogs barking. So that is why. And then, I don't know why I just looked at my mirrors if you guys were the camera. <laughs> um, next, I'm gonna go in with the concealer. Um, this is a tried and true as well. I alternate between this one and the RMS one. This is the Elia True Sense Care Serum Concealer and um, blends very easily with this skin tint. This is in the shade Shikri SC1. So it's not the lightest, but it's among one of the light ones that they have, light shades. But this one, I just like dab it here. Just do two. And I lighten here. Again, I do this more so to lighten rather than conceal because I feel like I said before, no one has super perfect skin. So just want to make it natural. So I just go ahead and I lightly conceal and more so brighten and I do it on top of my eyelid too just so it's overall bright and around my upper lip you guys I know I said I was gonna get better at posting twice a week but it's so hard this week is like the last week of summer classes for me and it's just been so much that I've had to get done lately and it's like dividing my time among everything is just so hard and I kind of have to like prioritize some things and sometimes YouTube gets put on the back burner but I need to just learn to work ahead I guess. For a while I was, um, I'm going to try to cover some of my little breakouts just so they don't look too red. Um, for a while I was like recording ahead and like scheduling videos ahead, but you know, there's only so much I can do sometimes. But nonetheless, I appreciate everyone that has subscribed or is still subscribing. I, you have no idea how much that means to me. And I value your support. Also, if you hear another weird noise, my fiance is in the living room with her puppy, trying to entertain him. Actually, that might be my puppy with this toy. Squeaker toy. Gotta love those things. So yeah, if you hear a squeaking sound, that's what it is. Next, I'm gonna go in with my brows. This is the Air Brow by Kosas. And I'm gonna brush my eyebrow with this little spoolie. Super natural looking. It's funny because I was all about the full coverage makeup a couple years ago. Mainly because I wanted to conceal my freckle and then just every little blemish on my face. I thought if my skin is perfect and clear and just no imperfections, I thought that was beautiful. And now I'm like, she spent so much money and so much time. I was hoping you didn't have to. And then I'm gonna go in with my super goop bright eyed mineral eye cream. I'm just gonna tap that under my face a little bit. And 
for this, I also use the brush. This step I usually do after concealer, but just remember now. dog noises in the background, cars passing by. I just want to be as real as I can with you guys. And then you go in with blush and I'm using this Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. And this is in the shade before today. And with this one I just go in and put it on like that. A little bit on my nose because I like that sun kissed look. I'm going in with a little the ultimate pop brush. And with this one, I've kind of just been like pushing it in. And I find that it makes your blush last longer as well because you're kind of like pressing it into the skin. These brushes make it so easy to blend. I can't believe I didn't buy them well not buy them but get them sooner um i had seen them and i was drawn to the color because they're like a light pink they're super pretty but i was like mm, i don't think they work because they're different you know but they're really good at blending out next i'm going to go in with the Ilia fullest voluminizing i can't read volume volumizing mascara <laughs> a little bit on I did make a review on this mascara it should be going up before this video I'll have a link to below as well in case you're interested but it's really good makes you look gives you a subtle natural look but it's really pretty last we're gonna go into the lips um look fantastic also sent me this juice beauty SPF 8 lip moisturizers um, it's a pack of three one is like a light pink one's like a berry and one's a clear I like them because they have zinc oxide 4% um, sunscreen the only thing is that I thought they were matte and they're not and they kind of have like a shimmer and I'm not really into shimmer so these I haven't used but I do like the clear one so we're going to go in with the clear one because it has SPF and it'll prep my lips for lipstick. And I'm gonna go in with my Ilia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm in the shade Lady. Um, this one's like a red kind of color. And I just dub it onto like a look of the stain. very easy so yeah guys this is my look that I've been wearing every day it is super minimal very easy to do it could be done in five minutes or less which is what I'm all about and I hope you liked it I hope you give it a thumbs I a thumb I can't speak I hope you get a give it a thumbs up if you did it lets me know that you like this kind of content and also thank you so much to um, look fantastic for sponsoring this video and providing couple products for me to try out i absolutely love them and i hope you guys my viewers like them as well again i'm going to link them down below as well as my little discount code to get 22 percent off in case you want to try any of these things um just a little recap of the stuff that i used um the juice beauty cleansing milk love it so much very creamy hydrating the color and science even up multi-correction serum um ever calm Global Protection Day Cream by Ren Skin Care. The Juice Beauty SPF Lip Balm, very important for the summer. The Echo Tools brushes. And then um, my other products like the Super Goop Eye Cream, the Ilia Concealer, the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, Kosa's Brow Gel, Ilia Color Haze, their mascara, and then their tinted lip balm um these are all products that i love that i wouldn't be sharing if i didn't 
and I hope you found this inspiring or maybe you want makes you want to try out a couple of these products or maybe you have questions about these products I absolutely love them go ahead and link them below and I'll see you in the next video